guys didn't know I can move the Tesseract, did you? You guys didn't know. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to the band, excuse me if I mispronounced the name, uh, Anecdoton, Anec Anecdoton, Anecdoton, Anecdoton. With their song, <laughs> If It All Comes Down To You, this was released in 2015 from their album, Until All The Ghosts Are Gone. I feel like one of you had recommended this band or a song from them before, but I don't remember who. I'm sorry. I just happened to see them pop up and I wanted to explore them a little bit. Guys, I would like to thank you, uh, of course, for enjoying the channel and liking and sharing. Okay, yeah, of course. But for allowing me to have a channel that can focus on music that may be underexposed, that may be a little more niche than others. <laughs> I mean, there are going to be bigger and more well-known bands that I'm interested in, but I prefer not to focus on that. There's so much other stuff out there, but you guys enjoying when I choose bands like that and music like that uh, and supporting it and, and watching it that I love that. I didn't really know if I was going to be able to do that. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I guess in the end, I guess I could have summarized all of that in thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Anyways, let's get into the song. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below and I hope that you do. Uh, and let's do it. This is Anecdoton with It All Comes Down to You.
enjoyed that song. I really enjoyed the ending of it. Sorry. I really enjoyed the ending of it. It was one of those climaxes that is just so enlightening. Like, I can absolutely see myself standing there in the crowd watching them play that live. And they're playing that ending and the lights are just going and the band is in it. And you're just feeling euphoria, just pure euphoria. Like, that gives me that feeling where I feel like I'm at a show watching them. When a band can take a studio sound and make me feel like I'm watching them live and give me the same feeling of euphoria as I would have watching them live. That's the emotional connection that I love. Uh, this was a really good song. I'm very curious about them. Uh, they sounded a little bit like Opeth um, in their softer moments. A little bit uh, Stephen Wilson influence as well. I don't know how much that actually plays into it, but that's kind of what I'm hearing from them. And it does have that folky, slightly cold, but not off-putting uh, tone about it. The bass, I can always come back to for warmth. The bass absolutely just slithers and rides through this song, and I really love the way that it does it. You can always feel its presence, whether it's just providing an easygoing rhythm, or when it's showing off a little more movement. We get the flute that comes in. We get Mellotron. That sounds absolutely great and really provides a great, great aura and background to this song. I gotta say the album cover does a great job of representing to me what the music feels like. The music itself feels like autumn. It's not cold like winter, but there's something leaving. There's like a warmth that's being shed. The Mellotron always has such a unique sound that I think a lot of us really enjoy. It, it sounds like an organ, it sounds like strings. It has such an interesting variety of sounds just within the instrument itself. And I think that's one of the coolest things about it. This is a great song that really gets me interested in the band. Um, this was a great starting point for them because now it leaves me curious as it always leaves me curious. I've heard one song from this band. So the arrow is kind of like right here with what I feel, right? I don't know if they go heavier. I don't know if they go lighter. I don't know whether their sound goes from there because you can never judge a band off of one song. You can't judge an album off of one song. You need to listen to the album because typically bands have so many phases and so many musical directions that they'll take at different points in their careers that it really is unfair to judge a band by a song. It can even be said it's unfair to judge a band by one album. You need to really explore and like look out. So getting back to the point, this is a great starting point, <laughs> a great entry level uh, point into the band, I would like to hear more from them. The only thing that I wasn't 100% sold on was the singer's voice. I don't think that he had a bad voice. I just feel like I need to become more accustomed to his type of singing. Can I tell you that it reminded me a little bit, a little bit of Pink Floyd? Just a, a, a tiny bit? Just that little, just that little guitar melody. That's actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite things in this song is just that little guitar melody that plays, I believe twice in the beginning of the track. Mm. Yeah, this is a great piece. I enjoyed this one. I like this, but what did you guys think of it? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even go into the lyrics. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. We could be anything. So let's try our luck down at the spin and win. Haven't seen you for long. Heaven knows where you've gone. Would the word still ring true? Did you see what I saw? Did you hear wherever the call was coming from? Would your mind be set free where the river meets the sea? Would it all come to true if it all came down to you? Putting some sort of hope onto a person, uh, probably the romantic partner, um, if it all comes down to you, if everything else is gone and it all comes down to me relying on you, to me, re to me loving you, will you be there? If everything comes down to you, if everything comes down to us, will we be okay? I really like the lyric where he says, uh, would your mind be set free where the river meets the sea? I like that because a river is contained. It is being forced into a certain direction uh, as a river courses naturally. Um, but when the river opens up into the sea, it's like the mind is open. The mind is no longer constrained into one path. It now has openness and, uh, and potential to go into many other directions now. In that same way, he says right after, would it all come to true if it all came down to you? Would all these promises and these dreams come true if it comes down to you? I think they're right. I think it is. Lyrics are good. Music is good. I enjoyed the song. 
What did you guys think? Did you like the song? Did you not like the song? Why, why not? Or what other songs from the band would you recommend? You can join me in the comments. You can join me on Twitter. I really do appreciate you guys joining me here. And I should probably get a little closer to the mic or something. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.